following Jesus, or following Satan. Our normal struggle. How to cheat the insurance company to fix my broken TV, get a new mobile or any other fraud claim. If we are not entitled to steal money from insurance for a fraud claim we have to lie to the insurance company. Stealing money from insurance is one of the easiest way of stealing. Usually we don't get a criminal record if get caught. Worst outcome will be your claim will be refused. We may have to deceive the insurance company to claim the money, you may not have to directly lie to the insurance company. But half lies, not telling the complete truth is equal to lying. Value of the claim is irrelevant. If we steal one pence or million by deception we are liars and thieves. Same with other things like tax etc. In the eye of the law demand is not important. We evade one pence tax or more we are lying about tax. There are so many type of lies and 33 types of lies defined here. Google the word lies and select Wikipedia. But there is one truth. I am the way and the truth and the life. We follow the Jesus the truth. But by deceiving others we follow Satan the deceiver. Of sin, because they do not believe in me. You are from your father the devil, and you choose to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature, for he is a liar and the father of lies, but because I tell the truth, I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and you know that no lie comes from the truth, but I am afraid that, as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, your minds will be led astray from the simplicity and purity of devotion to Christ. If we lie do we follow Jesus or Satan? Greatest Commandments And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Stealing and lying breaks both commandments. Lying is directly breaking God's commandment of love and insurance fraud raises insurance premium for everyone and it is again not good way of showing your love to your neighbor. What Bible says about lies and truth? Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old nature with its practices. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death. Anemias, Peter asked, Why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the proceeds of the land? How is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You did not lie to us but to God. Stand therefore, having girded your loins with truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. We used to think that statues are idols but it is not, money is our main idol we worship. Lying to make money or save money is the main form of idol worshipping. You shall not steal. Stealing, lying for money, tax fraud is idol worshipping, because money is our idol. What Bible saying about idol worshipping? Because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but do not speak, eyes, but do not see. They have ears, but do not hear, noses, but do not smell. They have hands, but do not feel, feet, but do not walk and they do not make a sound in their throat. Those who make them become like them, so do all who trust in them. But the hour is coming, and is now here, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the further is seeking such people to worship him. For they themselves report concerning us the kind of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Therefore my beloved, flee from idolatry. Put to death therefore what is earthly in you, 
sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Do not turn to idols or make for yourselves any gods of cast metal, I am the Lord your God. For all the gods of the peoples are worthless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. So why we steal? We don't trust in God our provider Jehovah Jireh. We steal because we don't have faith in the Jesus the truth. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Also sometime we pray God for guidance and help in stealing, lying and deceive. This works as well, because God is compassionate and forgiving. As we hear many worship testimonies people explain how they deceive others. Verse concepts a faithful man will abound with blessings, but he who makes haste to be rich will not go unpunished. For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. Final Conclusion it is not worth risking our eternal life by telling a lie or by committing fraud however small and worshipping money as an idol. Our salvation will not depending on our sins like stealing or lying. But depend on believing in the Jesus the truth and rejecting the Satan the deceiver. Kingdom of God is at hand, follow the truth, follow Jesus. For with God nothing will be impossible and do not bring us to the time of trial. But rescue us from the 